text messages 106, 7, 8, 9, and 10. I don't have these all memorized. <laughs> Gas money, July okay. 29th. <laughs> All right. July 29th. Okay, so, so far you owe him $850. That's for the month's rent of July that you didn't pay and for these loans. Now, tell me what property you are alleging, Mr. Sluka, that the defendant took from your house. He took a Keurig coffee maker. It's ridiculous, Your Honor. I don't even drink coffee. <laughs> and if I was going to steal something to be something worth value, like maybe his TV or some jewelry or something, well, I look like stealing a coffee maker. What else? Okay, I would like to say that when he moved out, he left his keys on the kitchen table, and the first thing I noticed was that the coffee maker was gone. Obviously, if it wasn't gone, I wouldn't have even known it was not gone. I immediately filed a police report. I also mentioned it in text messages 111 and 112. I said, Robert, I didn't know you were moving out. I'm shocked. Why did you take my Keurig machine? He never responded back. I said, at all. Nothing. I told him if he did not respond with all these charges, that I would take him to court. Never received any of those text messages, Your Honor. Hmm? I never received text any of those text messages. Text message 111 and 112, I'd like to submit. Well, unless you changed your number, he's been texting you all along and you've been responding, sir. He, he um, shh. Okay. You've been responding. I could really use another 10 or 20 for gas. Okay, I'll leave it in the box. Mm -hmm. it's, that's not an uh-huh. That's a yes, a yes is, Your Honor. yes. And I chose to be home late. Thanks a bunch. Okay, just wanted to make sure you didn't need cash before work. Take care. You too, thanks. So you were, in fact, getting his text messages. So the day you moved out on August 1st, is that when you stopped getting his text messages? Um, um, um is not an answer. I received maybe one or two the first day I moved, and I didn't get back to respond. I didn't receive anything after that. Just a second. Did the one or two that you received the day after you moved out talk about the coffee maker? No, Your Honor. It did not? No. Okay. May I see it, please? For some reason, I can't find it in this other pile. This is another text message. One eleven and one twelve. The Keurig machine was given to you by a special friend, yes. is what you say to him. This was right after the 29th. You have the cost of the Keurig coffee maker? Yes, I have Exhibit O. Bed and Bath has it for $125. Great. $125. Okay. $975. That's where we're at. There are two other items. Um, this is a personal hammer that had Sluka on it, which is my dad's, and it was on his nightstand, and it was never returned. A and hammer? I can't put a value on that. Next. Yeah, he, he, used, Next. It, he used it to hang up Next. a curtain in his, Next. in his room. Next. An Amazon Fire Stick. We exchanged them at the beginning, but mine had a warranty, and I... Next. That's it. $975. Judgment for the plaintiff. We're done. Thank you. Why is that excuse when you step out?